Lesson 14 is about the number line and negative numbers. Whenever we look at a number line, like we have here, you can see in the middle we're going to have 0. And to the right of 0, we've got our positive numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way through 10. And to the left of 0, we have our negative numbers, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and so on. And a common question is, why do we need negative numbers? Can you think of any reason that we would need negative numbers? Well, I can think of one reason. One reason for negative numbers might be negative temperatures. If we had a temperature that's below zero on our scale, we need to have a number for that. So the temperature of negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit, we know that's pretty cold. We've got to have a place for it on our number line. And that's one of the reasons that we have negative numbers. And they work very well for us in that way. Now, when we have negative numbers and positive numbers and zero, we need to be able to arrange them in order. So one question that we have might look like this. Arrange these numbers in order from least to greatest, 0, 1, and negative 2. So if we plot those points, let's go ahead and do that. We've got 0, we've got 1, and we've got negative 2. And you can see that our smaller numbers are always going to be on the left, and our bigger numbers are always going to be on the right. So if we arrange this from least to greatest, small to big, we must have negative 2 first, then 0, then 1. Using a number line can be very helpful to us for a problem like this. You don't need to use a number line, but it can help you to visualize the smaller numbers and the bigger numbers. Now let's compare negative 3 compared to negative 4. Well, let's look at those. Negative 3 is right here. The negative 4 is right next to it. Remember, we know that this was small on the left, and this is big on the right, or bigger. So we need to figure out which number is bigger. And we can see that negative 3 is bigger than negative 4. So the alligator mouth, or inequality symbol, must be opening up to the left. Because the alligator mouth, it always eats the bigger number. Okay? And it is definitely possible that one negative number could be, or a negative number could be the bigger number if we're comparing it to a smaller negative. All right, let's go ahead and subtract 5 from 2, and you might be thinking, whoa, 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 how can you subtract 5 from 2? But this is just another type of uh, subtraction problem that we have. So if we subtract 5 from 2, what we're going to do is we're going to start at 2, and we're going to take away 5 from 2. So we're going to take away 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. If we take away 5 from 2, we just did, you can see we end up at our answer. Our answer must be negative 3. So 2 minus 5 is equal to negative 3. It's always possible to subtract a bigger number from a, uh, or, uh, to subtract a big number from a small number, but you're going to get an answer that's negative. And you can use a number line to help identify how many positions or how many spots or tick marks to move over. Okay, let's arrange some numbers from least to greatest. Our first one is 1, so we're going to plot that on our number line. Then we have negative 2, we have 0, and negative 1. So that gives us our order right away. The advantage to using the number line is we can see the smallest is negative 2, then negative 1, then 0, then 1. And we're all done. What number is 7 less than 3? Now, this problem we could do a couple different ways. One way is we could say 3 minus 7, and we could figure out our answer that way. 3 minus 7, okay? Or we could start at the 3, and we could go backwards 7. So we're going to go 1, 2, 4, 6, and 7. And you can see our answer written right there for us is negative 4. So 3 minus 7 that must be equal to negative 4. So in this one, our minuend is 3, our subtrahend is 7, and our difference is negative 4, if we're going to use those vocabulary words. We'll practice some more of these in our next class on our lesson practice, page 70. Make sure you've got your notes completed. Hope you have a nice afternoon, and I'll see you soon.